So now that we've created our category, our next step is to create our attribute and our attribute set. And then we can go ahead and create our product. So the first thing you need to know about attributes and attribute sets, exactly what they are. To get an idea, let's go to our page and let's just click on any given product. Feel free to click on whichever one you'd like. I'm going to click on this t-shirt right here. You can click on the same one if you'd like. And we have a quick overview, which is just a description of the product. We have its image. We have some star reviews, ratings. And then we have this section right down here where it allows you to choose a size. And this is an attribute of this product. Now, this is a little bit more complex of an example because by selecting different sizes, you're actually selecting different products. However, this is an attribute. It's just a selectable attribute for this particular example. Now, if we scroll down even further, you're going to see a just normal attribute, which would be this under additional information, what model this shirt is. The model is impatience. So this, you can use attributes as a way to classify your products. So you have maybe color. So you can see it's been tagged as green, but maybe under additional information, one of these attributes is color, size. Um, it could be cut, style. If you're talking about TVs or electronics, maybe you're having resolution or just any sort of your qualities about these products. Now, what an attribute set is, is a group of attributes. In fact, you might think you create a whole bunch of attributes and you should just be able to select them all for each product. However, you know, a TV has resolution and size and stuff like that and a t-shirt has color and shape and and cut and anything like that but they might not ever cross paths so you want to be able to say these are t-shirts they have size they have color they have cut they have manufacturer this is a computer screen this has resolution it has contrast those kind of things so that way when you're creating a product you can say i'm creating a computer screen and that way, the product automatically knows exactly which of these attributes to pull in. And once we get into configurable products and things like that, you're going to be able to create products like this, where you have a dropdown that changes exactly which product that we're doing based on an attribute itself. So attributes are really powerful and a great way to completely control your products and classify them in all sorts of ways. Let's go ahead and click on electronics and then click cell phones. And let's click a cell phone to get a good example of some more attributes. Now, if we scroll down here, you'll notice there's no drop down or anything. This is just a simple product. Now we see the details and we see the additional information. And look, there's a lot more here. We actually have three different attributes here. Actually, we have four. We have model, in depth, which is a little bit more in depth of a description, dimensions, and then activation information. And you'll notice these take different shapes and sizes. You know, we have dimensions here, which is just a short text blurb. And then we have activation information or in depth, which are longer paragraphs. So once we get into creating attributes, you'll be able to see all the different types of attributes, whether it's numbers or yes or no's or just paragraphs. You'll get to see all of the different types of attributes. So in the next video, we're going to go into creating our attributes for our, our hats. And then we're going to create our attribute set for hats. And then we're going to create our product, which will be added to our category, which we created in the past couple of videos.